The most effective way to avoid the flu is to get your flu shot every year. Um, we recommend getting the flu vaccine as early as possible. The immunity from it wanes, but it won't wane too early if you get it early when it's available. Um, and it gives your body time to mount an immune response and to be ready if that flu season were to start early. Um, of course, the other ways to protect yourselves are um, hand hygiene, so good hand washing, coughing and sneezing appropriately. So we recommend and the Dracula sneeze or cough into the crook of your arm rather in, than into your hands. Even if you're healthy, the flu can really knock you out. So if your motivation is not to miss a week or two weeks of work, for example, because of the flu, then that's a good reason to get it. If you have small children at home or if you have um, elderly parents or other relatives who are at higher risk for having more severe outcomes from the flu, then that's a motivation as well. Um, I sometimes mention to parents that every child who succumbs to the flu, um, some of them were previously healthy, some of them weren't healthy, but they all got it from somebody else. If this is a child's first year getting the flu shot and they're under eight years of age, they will need two vaccines separated by four weeks um, to optimize their immunity to that. A flu vaccine cannot give somebody a case of the flu. Um, Unfortunately, that's a frequent reason that people um, refuse the flu vaccine because of that uh, misconception. Sometimes a parent doesn't want their child to get the flu vaccine because they feel that their child is healthy and can su successfully fight off the flu. Um, and that is off most often the case, but the statistics show us that every year, half of children who die from the flu had no underlying health conditions. So healthy children can have very bad outcomes from the flu, and often that can be from secondary infections that come on top of the flu, bacterial infections.